Welcome back. In this video, we would do one more example of data interpretation question. And in this one, you will see how two data sources uh, can come together and how GRE will ask you questions that will uh, make you take information from both of the data resources and then answer the question. All right, let's get started. Here are our graphs and I'll quickly show you the question also. Here's the question. Okay, so a good rule of thumb here before you attack the question is to quickly skim through the graphs. So here the graph on the left side, um, the title there says US electricity summer production. Okay, and then if you read the labels, you have years on the x-axis and, and then on the y-axis, you have electricity, uh, electricity produced in gigawatts. So it just tells you how much electricity in each year was produced in US uh, during summer. Okay, so that's the first graph. Now the second graph, the title uh, of it says sources of summer electricity production in 2011. So here's the big difference. This is specific for one year. And basically what it's doing is, it's dividing uh, how the electricity in 2011, which you, know, which you can know from this graph, was produced, like which sources produced that electricity. So you have natural gas, coal, petroleum, hydroelectricity, blah, 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 right? And you have this in percents, right? Okay, cool. So these are your two sources of data. Now, after you have quickly skimmed through the graph, uh, you can read the question. So the question here says approximately what was the percent increase in summer electricity production from 2003 to 2011. Okay, so it's asking your electricity production increased from 2003 to 2011, which you can see from the graph is kind of a linear increase. It's asking what was the percent increase? Okay, all right, so it's a simple, in the end it's a simple percentage problem, right? So we can find out what was the electricity amount produced in 2003, in 2011, and then calculate the percent using the lessons we know, like you, from previous lessons on how to calculate percents. All right, so in 2003, from my line graph, I can find that in 2003, the amount of electricity produced is this point. So I need to read this point for my y-axis. Uh, so now this doesn't cleanly fall on, on either of the markings here, so you have to estimate. So um, the best estimate here is to simply just say this is in the middle of 940 and 960, so it's about 950. Okay, and then coming to 2011, here's my point for 2011. This again is falling in between uh, two points, 1040 and 1060, 1040 and 1060. So I'll just take the middle here again because the point is about in the middle, so 1050. All right, so these are the gigawatts, which I'll shorthand with GW here, that were produced in these respective years. Now I can find the difference here, which is about 100. And to calculate the percent, basically I need to convert this 100 to percents, right? So 100, now the question is what goes into the denominator. If you remember from your percent lectures, the denominator is what your original amount was. So what was the original produced in 2003, which is 950, right? So if I calculate the percent here, I can quickly do this on the calculator, 100 divided by 950. So that comes out to be about 10.5%. 10.5%. And since the question says approximately and everything is rounded to integers, I'll round this up. This is percent. I'll round this up to 11%, which means C is the right answer. Okay. So this was a simple question. You just had to use the first graph only. Uh, nothing to do with the second graph. This first graph by itself answered the question. All right, let's move to the next question, which will ask you to use information from both graphs. Okay, so here's our question, question number two. How many gigawatts of electricity were produced from natural gas in 2011? Okay, so they want us to find electricity produced from one specific source in a particular year. So here it is 2011, okay, 2011, and they're asking me 
how much was produced from natural gas okay so and i want to find this in gigawatts that's the unit all right so from the first graph i know in 2011 again total amount produced so total produced in 2011 is 1050 this is again an estimation uh, since the point is in between points that are given here 1040 1060 so since in the middle i'm just picking the middle so i know in 2011 a total of this was produced now i have to find how much was produced by natural gas so now i have to go to my second graph which gives sources of electric production in 2011 so see this is a breakdown for 2011 numbers and here it tells me that natural gas produced 39 percent so natural gas produced 39 percent now simply i need to calculate 39 percent of my total amount which is 1050 uh, again going back to the percent pro percent lesson this is just 0.39 times 1050 if you feel you're not comfortable doing this go back to the percent lecture and review the concepts there 0.39 of 1050 comes out to be 409.5 again all the numbers are integers i'll round this up which will become 410 gigawatts which is c here okay so this is an example of a gre column where data from both the graphs had to be used to answer the question okay all right let's do another one here's the third question in 2003 40 percent of electricity was produced from coal all right this is now new information what was the decrease in number of gigawatts of electricity generated from coal from 2003 to 2011 okay so we are going from 2003 to 2011 we are interested in coal gigawatts of coal right uh, now the question tells me in 2003 40 percent was produced by from coal for 2011 since i have the pie chart i can tell 39 percent was produced right now the question is i'm not interested the question is not asking for percent differences the question is asking for gigawatt decrease in gigawatts so i have to go from percents to gigawatts and for that i need to know the total amount produced in these years okay so in 2003 the total amount produced is about 950 again this is falling in between so 2003 the amount is 950 gigawatts for 2011 again this number which is 1050 gigawatts uh, now need to find gigawatts of coal right so for 2003 it will be 40 percent of 950 which is 0.4 times 950 okay and let's quickly do that math 0.4 times 950 that's 380 and then for 2011 this would be 39 percent so i'll just do it this shorthand 0.39 of 1050 so 0.39 times 1050 so that comes out to be 409.5 which is about 410 one error here so coal is 30 percent not 39 percent so coal should be 30 percent coal should be 30 percent okay so 0 0.3 of 1050 i'll well, do this calculation again 0.3 times 1050 so that's 315 here okay so now we went from 380 we just block this off 380 to 315 so the decrease in gigawatts is about 65 gigawatts right which is a okay apologies for one mistake here it's 30 percent was produced by coal in 2011 so here was another example where you have to use the two graphs together plus a new piece of information that they provided in the question to answer 
uh, this particular question. Okay, hope uh, this gave you a good uh, example of how GI tests you on data interpretation questions. Okay, all right, thanks. Goodbye.